okay, some of you are wanting a recap. So basically, we're a little girl. We fell down a hole into the ruins where the monsters have been banished for years. Uh, we ran into this lady, our little goat mom. And uh, we killed her. <laughs> but uh, basically, we killed her because I was recreating what I did the first time. So uh, we killed her because she... And then, uh, shut down the game and tried to go from a save point. Turns out this game actually remembers everything you do even if you didn't save. So, uh, in the game it was like, oh, you've seen th this person die before because you murdered her. And you're like, oh god. So, instead, uh, we were able to get through without killing her because one of the big staples of this game is that you can choose to either kill people or monsters. Or you can you can sort of befriend them and talk to them and and create a relationship instead. So since then we've been going for a a, a no kill storyline. We ran into these two little skeleton brothers who were like, boo humans, uh, and then we wound up going on a date with one of them. It was very bizarre. But anyway, we're still just on this journey to try and get out of the ruins and. Uh, get back to our home, but apparently there's there's two two entities that we're worried about. One is Undyne, who is uh, this powerful woman knight, I guess, who keeps trying to attack us. Uh, whoops. And then <laughs> and then uh, we also have Asgore, who we heard about from uh, Sweet Goat Mom. And she was like, don't let Asgore take your soul. Ah, and we're like, okay. So I'm assuming Asgore is the final big bad. Oh, also apparently the, the king of this whole place is like super quirky and weird and nice, but I'm worried he's gonna wind up being evil as well. All right, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Oh, right, okay, that's where the ducky is. Right, that's where this is. What, what, what? It's a living. Ah, yeah. oh, goat mom murderer just subscribed. Uh, goat man murderer just subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the community. I super appreciate it. And I did murder my goat mom because I'm the worst. Can I go in here? Doesn't seem like anybody's home. murderer. Oh, why do you gotta point out all my problems? That's right. I went and hung out with, uh... Shoot. What's your name, sweetheart? Yeah. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blook Family Snail Farm. Yeah. I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business. My main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Napstablook? Nab, 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 uh, oh, right, this guy. Got any junk for sale? Be careful out there, kid. Right, okay, I did all that. There's only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it'll be destroyed. Right. Oop. Oop. Wait. What did this one say? Oops! Oh, that's right! It's me! Uh... I flex at her, right? No, muscles are not cute! And air. Oh, I have to disagree. No! It's just the two of us. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oops. I'm out of the game. My head's not in the game! He's ready for my next flex. Ah! He flexes himself into orbit. Okay. Cool. We did it. Uh. I don't trust little thingoos like that. 
Wait, didn't I? But I did all this, didn't I? Wait, I did all this, though. Didn't I? That candles are magic to guide them. Oh, that's right, because it got all dark. Shoot, I have to do that again? Uh, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Washua. It's so excited to clean me. Ah. 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 Oh, shit. Wait. No oh, fuck. Alright, he flexing. He flexes twice as hard. Ow, shit. Flex. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Ah, shit. He flexes so hard, he goes into orbit! Okay. Alright. Ah, oh, Jesus. Do I have enough- wait. There we go. Do I have enough items to live through this? Hope so. Oh! Lanterns! Oh my god, how did I not figure that out last time, huh? Holy crap. Really? I got so angry last time. And there were lanterns! Oh my gosh. I'm like a whole new person. Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! Fuck! Shit! Ah! But now I know about the lanterns! We're okay. Ah! Ah! We were going the right way anyway! Uh-oh. Why is it so dark? Behind you. Ah, it's undying. <laughs> oh no, I'm cornered. What have I done? Wait, who said this to this flower? Was it undying? She was like, this is going to be the best goof in the world. She walked up to this flower and just said behind you over and over again and then walked away so that when I went to talk to this flower, it would say, behind you. And then she'd be she's like, yeah, totally worked. <laughs> what an asshole. Oh, gosh. Okay. Ready for me to ruin yet another character with a bad voice? All right. Seven, seven human souls with the power of seven human souls. Our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore could finally shatter the barrier. He'll finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain we've endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. 
Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your hot bod. Oh god. Undyne, please. Um. <laughs> Undyne, I'll help you fight! You're the worst, this little dinosaur. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You got front row seats to her fight! Wait, who's she fighting? Uh, hey, hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Whiskers the fish, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a burrito. Oops. Can I go in here? Thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you enjoy the stream. You are super rad. Wait, Undyne, where'd you go? Ugh. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Aww. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around, that's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. Oh, babies, I want you all to climb to the surface and see the world. There is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. <gasps> Am I going to save all the monsters? That's all I really want is to save the Mon Mons. Sweet baby Mon Mons. Y yo! Oh, I knew it was this kid. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, uh, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. So, yo, say something mean so that I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I gotta do it? Alright, here goes nothing. Um, yo, I, uh, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. <gasps> oh no! Yo, wait, wait, help, I tripped! Ah! Help him! Help him! you yo dude! If... If you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me- me! First! Aw, oh, Undyne. <gasps> she peaced out. She saw the goodness in my heart. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> well, we'll just have to be friends instead. Oh man, I should really go home. Bet my parents are worried sick about me. Yeah, get out of here, kid. You're so deep. Later, dude. <laughs> now kiss. <laughs> We're probably the same age. Game over. We did it. We finished the game. Oh, goodness. Undyne! Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. You understand? Through, through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that this game takes tropes and is just like, no. Wait, what? 
You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy, goody two-shoes shtick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. Oh, you know, what would be more valuable to everybody, huh? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. So now, human, uh, let's end this right here, right now. They'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. I was gonna say, do I get a goddamn save point or what? I'm filled with determination! Uh, let's look at my shit. Okay, I got full health, as I... Alright. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come! Oh lord. A guard! Undyne attacks. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster! As long as you're green, you can't escape unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. It smells like sushi. Tell Undyner attacks are too easy and the bullets get faster. Dang it. Not bad, then how about this? Oh, I see. <gasps> oh. Undyne Suplex is a boulder because she can. What a pro. I told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. Undyne towers threateningly. Didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Shoot. Um. I wonder what sparing does for Undyne. I don't think she cares. Tell Undyne her attacks are too easy and the bullets get faster again. Then holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Uh. No. I don't. I don't feel like pleading was doing anything. I feel like the fact that challenging changes something is kind of like with Aaron when you flex and it's like, oh, now your attacks are stronger, right? If I just keep challenging her, that's the way to progress the fight. Oh no. Just keep trying it. The bullets get unfair. Oh, fuck! Ah! I got hit by one! <laughs> oh, man! Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. God, I almost didn't get hit! Dang it! Whew! Whew! And thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Am I in the way of stuff? Okay. I can run now. I couldn't run before. Oh! I was able to escape? Ah! Oh god. Oh no. Oh god! No! <laughs> Dang it! I'm gonna wait for me this time. Shoot. Shoot! Dang it. Oh, 
no human has ever made a pest. As cool. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> that was terrifying. Oh shit. Valerie 88 just subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing. Send me your strength, Valerie. Send me your strength to defeat Undyne slash run away faster. Stop being so damn resilient. for me for the last time. Oh, God. Dang it. Oh, God. Whew. You keep throwing new shit at me, Undyne. Just a kid, fuck. Undyne suplex is a boulder. Attacks are too easy. Oh my god. <laughs> this right now. Ah! Shit. Oh, if I should... What if I don't get away this time? I want to use up all of my health stuff. I don't want to die, either. Shit. She's just gonna keep throwing bad shit at me. Shit! Be the last one. It's not the last one? Undead, come on! You're literally killing me! Die already! Get out of there. Dog, 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 dog. Ring. <laughs> Wait, what was his voice? Oh my god. Did you guys hear that? That was totally a riff from... That was a fucking Castlevania rift in there. What shit was that? Was it this voice? I'm trying to remember, was it this one? Does this sound familiar? Because I believe this was the voice I was using for him. Bone husband, I know. Ew! <laughs> cool, all right. Hello, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, Undyne should all go hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later! Click. You piece of shit. <laughs> you big poop! You big old poop! I can't believe you did that to me! 
No! I don't have shit! Oh my god. Die already. Oh god. Run. Yeah, I'm red, right? I can just keep running. Ah! Ah! No! Save me! I can just keep running. I can just keep running. No, let me run! I'm so hot, but I can't uh, give up. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna bring you some water, you poor baby. Take a cup of water? Yeah, you take a cup of water. Here you go, sweetheart. Give one dine water? Yeah. You're okay. Like, bye. Yeah, you can take a cup of water. Why not? A cup of water returned to the water cooler. Dang it. All right. No, my buddy. Come on now. He was there for like a split second. Who the fuck are you? What the shit? I was thirsty, so I came over from the waterfall to get a drink. Uh, would you like some water? Are you just carrying it around to look sophisticated? Cause it's not working. Fine. F yourself. I don't need you. Water evaporated. Cup evaporated too. Fine. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Oh my gosh, guys. Whoa, who are you? Tralala, -la -la, I'm a river man. Or am I a river woman? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I love to ride my boat. Do you want to join me? Ride in the boat? I assume this takes me over to where that shop is. Yes. Where you want to go? To the waterfall or just- Oh, I can go all the way to Snowden? Hmm. I'm trying to remember who- I'm trying to remember who had the best prices. I can get those, um... The, the bicycles from Snowden, though. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to Snowden. He's <laughs> gonna take you straight to Hades. Yeah, probably. Piano plays the tinkling song. Hmm, tinkling. Thanks, brah. Come again sometime. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, bye. Yeah! Look at all these cuties. Aww, look at all your cute faces. I don't want to go to Grillby's. I want to go... <laughs> yeah, remember this? Remember this rabbit who's like, there's a rabbit walking a rabbit. That's, that's fucked up, right? <laughs> I mean, maybe, yeah. Might be. Uh. Let's buy some bicycles, please. Hmm. Maybe one more. Look, they're good. 
good for the price, yo. No. Okay. Kind of doubt you have anything new to talk to me about, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Why do you need several? Because I'm gonna keep being in fights where things try to hurt me. Oh, I just realized that the boat has a kitty face on it. That's so cute. Oh, wait. Right in the boat? No. I have to go talk to my ex-boyfriend. Wait a minute. My ex-boyfriend who- Oh my gosh, remember wolf boyfriend though? Okay, wait. Pyrus, what's going on with you? He's not in here. Door's locked. Ugh, fine. He's the one who keeps calling- oh wait. He's at Undyne's house. <laughs> I don't know where that is, so... Maybe they're gonna date. Oh my gosh, so precious. Okay, now... Yeah, now I'll go for a ride. Ride in the boat? Yeah, sure. Where are we gonna go? To Hotland! To Hotland! It's literally, it's literally running on the water. Ah! It's so cute. Fuck. You have a cute ass boat, sir. Hey, there's me. There I am. It's you? Question mark? It's too dark to see near the walls. Okay, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, fine. Apparently I need to turn on a light or some shit. Hi. <gasps> Are you that little dinosaur's mom? Oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Oh, ooh, ooh, uh, mm. Um, hi! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgord's royal scientist. B but, um, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, uh, well, I've been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but... Watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, um, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide th you through the hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Um, well, actually, um, there's just a tiny, itty-bitty issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Um, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway... Recently, I decided to make him a bit more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um, oh, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, hopefully we just won't run into him. And scene. Yep, there he is. Uh, did you, did you hear something? Uh, 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 oh no. 
Oh, oh, oh yes? <laughs> Welcome, beauties. <laughs> Every time this game hypes something up, it's a huge letdown, like, on purpose, and I love it. <laughs> Like that big puzzle earlier when he was like, all of the colors uh, match different things and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> to today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everybody give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it is simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly, or die. Yeah! Or you die. Metaton attacks. Metaton. Cry? He's a robot. Let's check him out first. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Haha, <laughs> you wish. <laughs> the quiz show continues. Oh my gosh. Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Correct. What a terrific answer. The quiz show continues. Uh, I guess I'll just keep playing, right? Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Too easy, huh? The quiz show continues. I don't know what else to do other than cry. Two trains, train A and train B simultaneously depart. <laughs> I wonder if I can't win. That would be funny. How many flies are in this jar? This is so unfair. This is so unfair. A great answer. I don't know if I should keep using items or if I should let him kill me. How many letters in the name Metaton? One, it's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everybody goes to the beach and she buys ice cream, but it's snail flavor and she's, it's one of my favorite parts of the, it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and uh. Alphys, 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 you aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Uh. Yeah! See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. <laughs> she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. This is amazing. This is so great. Oh my god. 
margin of error, one percent. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. I literally blasted off. Well, um, that was certainly something. <laughs> It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait! Uh, let me give you my f f phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could, um... Where did you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second. Uh, just hold on, please. Oh my god, do I get text messages now? Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain, and I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take a package of noodles? Hell yes. We got some instant noodles. Hell yes. Speed up figurine of a female human with cat ears. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written. Chicken scratch. Seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... If I go in here... The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. It's a bathroom sign. Oh. <gasps> Look at all these! Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. Look inside a book, and it's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as accurate. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Pink goop, oh. Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. Oh, Alphys, I totally ship you with Undyne. I want your love to flourish. Wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Stop it. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. A garbage can. But it's pretty cute. Is she not in there anymore? Wait, her little feeties aren't there anymore. Where did she go? Alphys, where did you go? Goodness gracious. I'm gonna go save. I'm filled with determination. Okay. Where's she at? Undyne's house. Everybody's at Undyne's house. She's throwing a mixer. Who knew? I don't see your little feet in that bathroom anymore, so I don't think you're there. Alphys updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. 
Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. 